What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. This is their best brown ale. Uh, this is the fall seasonal from Bell's Brewery, and here's what they have to say about it: uh, a smooth, to a smooth, <laughs> a smooth, toasty brown ale. Best brown is a mainstay in our fall lineup. With hints of caramel and cocoa, the malt body has the depth to stand up to cool weather, but does not come across as heavy. This balancing act is aided by the generous use of American hops. 5.8% ABV. So I went ahead and already poured it. And uh, it's kind of a, a reddish orange going into maybe a copper color a uh, little bit. I don't feel like it's maybe quite copper. It's burnt orange, I guess, is probably what I'm looking for, I think. Uh, I poured it uh, about, um, about two minutes ago. Uh, there's a little bit of the head sticking to the sides of the glass. But um, the center of it is kind of reduced down to about half the size. It's maybe a barely a half finger. And wasn't more than a whole finger overall. I uh, don't see a lot of carbonation shooting up through it. It is fairly clear. Uh, not holding up to the light. I can. It's kind of hard to see my fingers just because it's uh, dark. And there is a little bit of cloudiness to it. Or a little bit of uh, occlusion to it. But um, otherwise... And as I hold up the light, it kind of goes to like a pure, pretty pure orange color. So probably burnt orange um, in standard light is probably a pretty accurate statement. And um, again, this does come in a 16-ounce uh, can uh, instead of the normal 12-ounce. I find that what Bell's tends to be doing in terms of their distribution is 12-ounce bottles in six packs. And then 4-ounce uh, cans in four packs. Uh, I saw both available... I only saw the cans for the brown here, but in the past I've seen uh, both available, like for the Obron over the summer and so forth. Now let's get into this uh, this brown. A little bit of kind of a, a brown sugar sweetness to it is really kind of the first thing. The sweetness is kind of the first thing that hits me, and it's fairly prominent, but it's not overpowering at all. I'm also getting some bready and biscuity malt notes to it as well. The cocoa is is present but not sweet. Uh, it's very much in the kind of in the second half, the back end of the the drinking experience. A, a fair amount of uh, of toastiness as well. Kind of almost getting into something a little bit darker, into probably more of a roastiness versus a toastiness. At least to me, roastiness would be a a little bit dark, a little bit darker, a little more burnt. Uh, it's kind of feeling toasty throughout the drinking experience. Now in the aftertaste, it's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit roastier to me. Um, hits all the notes as advertised. Really, really pretty tasty. I'm a big, uh, big multi ale guy, so this is right up my wheelhouse. But uh, There's also kind of some nuttiness to it as well, uh, especially up front. I think the the nuttiness and the biscuity malts are really kind of the front of the the beer, and then more towards the back, you're getting more of the cocoa, uh, a little bit more of that toasty and roasty side of it uh, combined. So fairly basic, but uh, a really really well executed brown ale, as I would expect from from Bell's. Uh, really terrific, that best brown ale. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. Uh, you can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find all those links and usernames in the description below. Also feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, before I get out of here, I just want to let you know if you're watching this on the day of release, on this uh, Saturday the 23rd of September... Uh, a couple of special videos coming up over the next two days. Tomorrow I'm going to be checking out uh, what I'm calling the Westbrook Claws. Uh, Westbrook Brewery down in, uh, down in near Charleston, South Carolina. Has a series of uh, pale ales that they call uh, One Claw, Two Claw, Three Claw. Uh, based on, uh, I guess, crabbing down there. Uh, so I'll be checking out all three of those beers tomorrow. And then on Monday I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, with all the kind of natural bad weather that's been going through uh north america of late in the caribbean mexico the southern half of the united states so forth 
Uh, some really good things uh, being done in terms of what I'm calling beer philanthropy. So I'm going to be talking about some of that stuff. Uh, that's going to be coming on uh, Monday the 25th. Um, so that is it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.